Right, and winter is coming to an end. End of February, the snow and the ice is thawing. We can see water again. And look at that, that's really cool. The snow is disappearing from the roofs, melting. Change of seasons and spring is upon us, finally. That means we can now start building the boat or, well, boats. Do we have some more nails again? Yes, we do have 18 nails now. We still have only 26 people. I really want to increase that somehow. And we now have a boat maker again, a builder. There he is. He does have enough resources. So he should be now starting yeah, with a boat. And it doesn't look like it's much work. <laughs> And there we have the boat, ready. And he's now delivering the boat to his client. So bear in mind, it's the client here. This is like a customer. And he's now delivering that over there, the fishing boat. And I think we do now have a boat, yes. I can now put this one off and put the fisher in here. Hopefully I don't have to do that all the time. But right now we are very low on workforce. So he's done for now. And yeah, he's already here. And can we have women here too? No, we cannot. Oh. Hire women too. Yes, that might be possible. So he's now getting some fish there, hopefully. There he is. Our fisherman. Let's have a look what he's actually doing here. Condition of the boat is also going down, so we probably will have to repair the boat then at some point. And there he's got the fish. Now, I wonder what we do with the fish. Is that just basic food or do we need to sell it? Because that would be amazing if we could sell that fish now. That's the first good that we are making that's not a building resource, by the way. So it's the first thing that's quite something new. So it should be then somewhere over here. Right, 10 fish. And what I can also see is with the stone deposits that we should have something about that stone. Now let's have a look there. Production, stone mining camp. It only needs nails and wood. We do have those things. And with that we can then produce... Oh, wait a second. What can we produce with that besides stone? Limestone and stone. From nearby deposits. So let's just have a look where we have the entrance. There it is. So up here we have, oh, uneven terrain. All right. That is pretty cool. So now we have the stone mining camp coming up. Hopefully we do have enough nails for that. Um, I think we will need a second guy in the smithy then working for nails. Right, and what's with the fish? So fish is piling up now. It doesn't seem like anyone's consuming the fish, so we really do need a market then for the fish as well. And the market up here is red, so it's no market. That's migration status. Migration is allowed, but we do need a market and we do need more houses, it seems. Right, because right now we only have enough houses for the people that are living here. I wonder what happens if we build more houses then. Perhaps more people come then to our town. That's something that's worth uh, that's worth keeping in mind, so we will need more houses. Perhaps people then automatically come to our town. Right, and there's the stone mining camp. It does need a few nails though. So we have the smithy here. Can we have women? Not as workers, but as laborers we could have them. So that we have two guys now working here for the smithy. That's important. Fish is also being produced. Let's have a look there. We certainly don't need two people in the thatch. Oh yeah, let's have two here. Carpentry is empty. And forestry is also... Yeah. Just don't have enough people for that. 
Nails is out, but fish is piling up. That's good. So we should have a marketplace, right? I think. Let's see. It's a bit of a tricky deal because I don't want to have the marketplace. Hmm. There's the market, there's the trading post. Now the trading post is also quite important here in the center. Right, that's a cool building though. Should we have the market here? I think we should have it here at the camp center because we are going to have the town center here too at some point. So let's have the market here. Market stall, and it actually doesn't need anything. No resources. It's just this one here. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, I see, and we can se select the fish. We do need a worker for that. That's a woman, all right. I just say it's a woman because, you know, we have... I don't think we have any workforce for male anymore left. So she's now going... Yeah, oh, that is amazing. She's now getting the fish and we can sell it. And with that, we get some money. Right, so the fisherman is bringing in the fish and my market woman is getting it to the market and there we have it. Fish is now for sale. And people should then be able to purchase it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. I love the details here. So we have the market. Right, no one's purchasing. Oh yeah. She was purchasing some fish there. And getting it then over here to her village house on the other side of the town. And then we do have fish here now in the village house. So finally we do have a market and now food is for sale as well. That's pretty positive. So those things are good I think. And now we do need housing because we have no housing available right now. We do have some nails again so I think it's time for some of those sexy houses again. Village houses there. And oh Oh yes, I was building the mining camp. Pardon me. And I think we can only hire men in here, yes. If I put a vacancy on that. Um, with the stone, can we then sell the stone? Oh, we can sell firewood, that's good. Let's sell some firewood. Right now I think everyone's just taking it. And we have so much firewood. And... No, I think that's fine for now. So firewood and fish. That's all that's for sale right now. So it's filling up here too. I love that. Look at that. And people are then going to that and purchasing those goods. And meanwhile, we could continue having a few houses here. Now, this is a, this is a tricky one. Look at that. About the... Disable the snapping. Yeah. So we want to have it like that. Right? And then we have another house. Also down here. And here it's a bit of a... Yes, like that. Because I don't want to get rid of the path here, you know. If I build it too close, then the path would be for nothing. So now we are building some more houses here. And then we have more houses than people. So that was the last red checkpoint here. No housing available. Migration. And perhaps then people are finally moving to the town. That is something we want. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. It's April now. Winter is a long time away. And there the next house is coming up. We do need a few nails for that. And hmm, we still don't have any more nails. I do have two smiths though. And yes, we do have enough wood and firewood for now, so not a big deal. Let's get rid of both of the foresters here. So one of them hopefully goes for the stone mining camp then.
Still hiring though. Because I want to get some stone there. Stone mining camp. Oh. What is that? A cart. Okay, we do need to order carts for the stone mining camp. Makes it a bit more complex. So we do need to have someone here for the carpentry. But let's just wait that... Um, let's just wait here for those houses to finish. And then perhaps we get some migration into our town. That's the important thing there. Other than that, the market stall here is full and people should be purchasing something if they want to. Yeah, they should be producing the nails then. And what we can do here in the meantime, um, having no jobs available right now, we have to change that. So we do need to um, like open up some spots here. You know? So we are hiring, like we are hiring two here for the stone mining camp. We are hiring one for the carpentry, two here for the forestry. And that means then jobs are available. So now we have migration allowed. Water supply is sufficient, enough food for sale. Jobs are available and no religious buildings required at this point. The only thing that's missing now, housing. No housing available, it says right now. So I hope that once we finish this one here, and I think we now have enough nails, that people will then finally come to our town. That would make sense. So that's something that I hope comes up with that one here now. We do have enough nails. And there's the house. There we have a new one. It's vacant. And as you can see, migration status is there. And now everything is fulfilled. So, perhaps we get some people now coming to the town here. We still have two constructions here. The question then is, where are they coming from? You know, I mean, it's a big map. Obviously, they're coming from the other villages here. But I cannot click on anything there for now. Still 26, so this should then change somehow a bit, hopefully. And there's the next building already coming up. I think we have enough nails. Oh, not enough charcoal. Right, they're getting it though. And we have enough wood and firewood and we should have... Yeah, we have 7,000. 400 charcoal there. That's fine. Still 26. Ah, look at that. People moved to this town. That is interesting. Now, I was waiting for that. We have some new people. So we have 30 people now. Because we do have free houses and we have jobs available, food for sale and stuff like that. Beautiful. I love that. Where are they coming from though? Where are they? Oh, look at that. They're coming per cart. Okay, they're coming. They're indeed coming from somewhere else. They're not just appearing on the uh, on the in the village, but they're really coming from the edge of the map there and then moving to my town. Beautiful. I absolutely love that. <laughs> That's really cool. That means we need to build more houses, obviously, to get more people so they purchase more things. We can produce more and then make money by selling and also, of course, um, getting rent, you know. So we are also getting money here from those people living in there. And I think we have everything ready. Yep. So the next house is coming up. And that means more people will then also move to that location here. He's building it alone for now. That means also that we should now have some people at least, yep, working in the stone mining camp. But those guys here, they would want a cart. So in this case, let's get rid of one. And hopefully someone is going to work here then in the carpentry because we do need a cart. Now we ordered one. And that means as soon as someone's working here, more one more order in queue that he builds the cart then. Because we do need a cart for the stone mining camp there. So people or those people here can start chopping down or, well, hacking down those stones here that we need. Alright, and I think at this point we should also get some more carts. And we should do this more centrally. This is just too far away, that cart parking over there. And two of them do, do need repairs, what I can see now. Right, so it's very important to get here a carpenter up and running. 
having the next house ready. Hopefully someone moves in here quickly again and again and starts working here right away at the carpentry. But I already gotta say, I'm surprised at how good this game is in early access. There, they bring in the clay. Actually, lots, lots of builders here. And they built now, obviously, and not producing anything in the smithy. All resources are collected. There should be someone. Right, and Kirillo, 51, he's working in the mining camp, stone mining camp. But I don't think that he's doing anything for now, as long as he doesn't have a cart. And the next house is finished, so everything is green again for the next people to move here. I just wonder where the food is. I mean, we are selling some fish. And we do have the fisher here, but there's nothing else. I think we do need a farm soon. The farm is actually doable. The nails we should have too. Oh, uh, 46 nails. That's enough for the next building then. Let's hire only one and pay him more. Right, so we hire now, or we pay now 120% of the wage. So hopefully someone is coming now. A new family is coming too, the next ones. We have now 34. And Vladislav, he's now new as well with his family coming in here. So that's pretty cool as well, because he's coming with his family, so with children. And those children, of course, also grow up, so that you know, accelerates the whole um, growing of my town. Beautiful. I absolutely love it. How it looks as well. So what we need here in the middle. This is like a choke point here. A crossing where lots of people are coming in. So we might make this a bit more pretty. You know, with those fences there. Yep. Right? So something like that. And then in there we do have... Yeah, an ash tree. Let's make it two. Two ash trees there and some bushes then in between. That's really cool. Here in this crossing here, I love how the... <laughs> How we have those streets there and there we have them the trees two ash trees also coming up there how are they looking yeah they're growing but it takes a bit of time but they're growing also they are growing what i can see right now they're also getting taller the ones that i can't place directly but are placed in here right the next family is here very good more workers? Do we have now a carpenter? We still don't have a carpenter. I'm a bit surprised by that. I'm paying 120%. Okay, let's get rid of the stone mining there. And perhaps, yeah, very good. He starts working as a carpenter now. So he's now repairing the carts. They all need repair. And people actually purchase stuff here, so it's only 10 fish now, it was at 30. Right, there he is repairing it. And off he goes again with a repaired cart. All he needs is some wood for that and metal parts. Right, and I think if we purchase one, yeah. There's also the client here again, and we do have the stone mining camp as a client. So he's now repairing the carts, and then he's building another one, another cart here for the stone mining camp. And once the stone mining camp has the cart, we can then finally start um, getting some ore, some stone as well. That's what we need. And yeah, we still don't have enough nails. I think we are running, we might be running out of iron soon. Yeah, we had 400 iron. 
So how do we get iron? That is something that I still haven't figured out. Is it the stone? Is it really with the stone mining camp? No. I don't think so. Do we need to purchase iron perhaps from outside? That might be something. Shoemaker's workshop. Weaver, tailor, saddlery, limeworks. The smithy. But nothing for iron. No idea. We'll see that. We'll see it once I have the stone mining camp. Perhaps I get it out of the stone here. But it's really just stone. Hmm. No idea. Oh, people purchased so much firewood that we don't have any. Right, and we also don't have any cards anymore. He's repairing the last card here. Very good, and then he should be starting with the card that we need for the stone mining. Really, really, I mean, this is exceptional from the system's um, point of view. I gotta say that. Beautiful game. It looks so simple at first. But it feels so organic, everything. Yes, perhaps we should have another big arch here. Oh no, we can't have that. Okay, doesn't matter. Then we have the smaller ones. Small one. Because this is going up here and also one here. Yeah, something like that, and also here. few ornaments there and then we can have something around it. Yes, now he's finished it. And now two people are actually working here in the stone mining camp. We do have migration allowed as well, 34. And they are now starting here. And I'm curious what they produce. I mean stone, yes. But perhaps there's some iron in there as well. Oh, that's the cart. Right. That's a different kind of cart. And he's just hammering onto that cart. <laughs> he's just destroying it, I guess. Okay, there he got the stone. And with that stone, we do have 100 stone. So what can I do with that? Can I sell stone? I don't think so. Nope, I cannot sell stone. We do have a new uh, family here now too. So the Rough Lick family over here, they're coming. Three of them. So our settlement is growing. Uh, look at that beautiful, beautiful day in Ostrif. And I think, do we have some nails again? 56 nails. So, hmm, we could have a farm. If I go for farm... I would get more food and could sell that, but I still wouldn't have any iron. Or I go for the trading post. The trading post costs a lot, though. Food storage allows trading with other cities. Cart parking, that's something. Wagon chat. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get stuck here. So I, I really want to know how to get some iron now. Carpentry. Meat. Smithy. Lime kiln. Nope. That's all nothing that we need. Workshop. Produces textiles. That's good for selling. And produces clothes from textiles. Um, textiles is something that we would uh, might get then up here. Cow that chicken farm 
something like that. Fishing dock, boat, oil workshop, produces oil from sunflower seeds and thatchery. Nope, so there's really no way to get iron here at this point. Then I will need to have a trading post, I think. At least I hope so. Right, and with that we could then import iron, perhaps. It's this massive building. I just need to check if we have enough nails. We do. Still would need to wait there a bit. For the nails. But so far so good. 